We're given f of x is equal to e of the x times sine of x. Let's find the derivative of this. For the derivative, we're gonna take, we're gonna use a product rule. So take the derivative of e to the x to get e to the x, and then multiply that by sine of x. Now take the derivative of sine of x to get cosine of x, and then multiply that by e to the x. We wanna find the critical points in the open interval from zero to three. So we set the derivative equal to zero. Notice that I can factor out an e to the x, and I'm left with sine of x plus cosine of x. e to the x is never equal to zero, so I can divide both sides by e to the x. And so I'm gonna set sine of x plus cosine of x equal to zero, which means sine equals negative cosine. So we're looking at when is sine equal to negative cosine. Well, for that, I'm going to draw the unit circle. And notice that sine and cosine are equal over here here, and they're going to be opposites at the other two spots. So they're going to be opposites over here and here. But we want to limit ourselves from 0 to 3. Well, this is pi, which is 3.14. So 3 pi over 4 is smaller than 3. And so our answer is x equals 3 pi over 4. And I'm going to write out the values here. And so through pi over four, the values are opposite. So the critical point that we found was that x equals through pi over four. Now we want to determine the absolute max and minimum on the closed interval from zero to three. So recall that the derivative was given to us as this, or we solved it as that. So we wanna use a number line. So we wanna stop from zero to three, and our critical point here was three pi over four. So you wanna pick a number between zero and three pi over four. Let's say pi over two. Pick a number between three pi over four and three. Let's say pi. We know e to the x is always positive, so I don't really care about that. Now, pi over two, sine of pi over two, that's one, that's positive. Cosine of pi over two is zero. So positive times a positive gives us a positive. Now when I plug in pi, e to the pi is positive. Sine of pi is zero, but cosine of pi is negative, one. So positive times a negative gives me a negative. So what's happening is, at x equals zero, I'm increasing. I reach a maximum at three pi over four, and I come down. So this will be zero, this will be three, and this is three pi over four. So clearly the maximum has to be at x equals three pi over four. Now if I want to find the minimum, The minimum is either at zero or three. So I have to test those points. Well, if I plug in x equals zero, I have e to the zero and then times zero plus one, which is one. I'm sorry, I have to plug that into the original equation. So you plug in f of zero first. So you get e to the zero times sine of zero, which is zero, and that's gonna be zero. And then you plug in f of three, you get e cubed times sine of three. Well, let's see. Sine of three is going to be, if we look at the unit circle, this is pi, which is about 3.14. So it's just somewhere over here. e cubed is positive. Sine of three is also positive. So positive times a positive, this is greater than zero. So that means the minimum has to be zero here. And so that's our final answer.